Okay, now we'll finish the example here that we uh, began in part three. And uh, this is going to be the traditional test for hypothesis test for the mean with sigma known. Now remember that in the traditional test then, we uh, basically are comparing our test statistic or our calculated value here. And we're testing that against the critical values that we got in this section. To me, it's very convenient to go ahead and uh, put that in a separate section that we call the comparison section. And step by step, I'll walk you through that. First of all, draw the number line. And so I've done that. Notice here that we label the critical values first. And those critical values, as you recall, were up here in the critical values section, 2.576 and negative 2.576. But now, those are the onsets of two critical regions. So I'm going to draw those in here. And I sometimes call these rejection zones because later on if we find that our test statistic falls in this region or in this one over here going to the left and right because it's a two-tail test that we will then reject the null hypothesis. If for example our test statistic falls in here then we will fail to reject. So we look at our test statistic here at negative 2.875 and we will notice that that's going to fall over here. It's going to fall in the rejection zone or as some books call this the critical region. So if in a traditional test your calculated value the test statistic falls inside of one of these rejection zones then you in fact reject the null hypothesis. If it should fall in this safe zone in here, then we would fail to reject. But we are going to reject our null hypothesis here. We're rejecting H0. Now, as always, we hesitate to make any conclusions until after we look at our diamond chart. So let's go ahead and take a look at our diamond chart here. And let's go back and talk about what we've done here in this test. Sometimes when you uh, start a problem that's real long, it takes a long time to get to the end and you kind of forget what you did in the beginning. So we go back and we say at the start button, does the original claim contain equality? Now keep in mind here that we could have claimed this a couple of different ways, but we chose to go with the claim that the uh, conclusion in Alex suggested that the mean was different from 47 months. So does the original claim contain equality? No, it doesn't because we claimed the difference. Okay, so the first answer is no. So our first diamond is no, and then did we reject? And as we saw over here, we did in fact reject. So we're going to have the no followed by the yes, and so we end up in the third box. The sample data does support the claim. So in Alex, we'll go ahead and we'll put that in. Notice here that we do in fact support the claim, and so we check the yes box. So this is another example of a hypothesis test for the mean with sigma known and Alex statistics.